Ethan got many comments uh, by mostly nurses who said, you're reading? We never see kids in here who are reading. Well, he has acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which was diagnosed about three years ago in October. Leukemia is when some of your cells aren't really working, they're not really doing anything, and they keep splitting and splitting, creating more and more, so they kind of overpower the other cells, so there's too much of cells doing nothing. He um, has an end of treatment date, which is February 28th, 2018, so we're five months away. So when I got diagnosed with leukemia, I have to go through my hardcore chemo, so I, I was going there every day and maybe staying overnight sometimes, and when I got a fever, I, I have to go to the hospital, so that adds to the time. I mean, it was a couple years ago, but I think I reacted fine, like I wasn't like screaming or yelling. I think my parents were more upset and worried than I was, like it is for parents most of the time. It came as a shock when, when Ethan was first diagnosed. We thought he, he had symptoms of emotionality and fatigue, and then I don't even know how to verbalize it, but you're put into a different world, and it, it doesn't feel like we'll ever be back into what was our pre-cancer world. You just view everything differently, and life feels more fragile. It's called Ethan and Chaco's Book Club. When I went to the hospital, books was a great thing for me because it would help me kind of escape from the library into a different world where none of this was happening. Well, it's your older brother, and now you. Oh, okay, you gotta, you gotta come to anybody. Yeah, yeah, we probably read aloud with our kids more than any family with um, five kids this old. Thing. So I wanted other kids to be able to experience the power of books. So our goal, our first step is to get reading aloud going at the hospital. Our second step is to get books going in carts so kids can check them in and out. Then our final step is to build an actual library at the hospital. We, we've got some books, but we we're not quite at the point yet. We're, we're doing great and we're getting lots of books in the mail and boxes. Last year they did book looks every night for a whole year, which they reviewed, but we reviewed books and sometimes me and Caleb helped. That was our goal, to do that for one year every day. And Steve and I were like, once a week. And he's like, every day. Like, once a week. <laughs> and he's like, every day. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hi everyone, I hope, I hope your October is off to a great start. I've been so focused on getting my Halloween book drive off the ground for our Books for Treats event that I haven't got to, gotten to doing my monthly thank yous or title talk yet, so here it is. First, I have so many thank yous for the month of September. Thank you to everyone who donated books last month. Annie and Rick Katz for all the ordinary people changed Sorry, the world. you can't say Annie. He did not want to give up on that goal of doing 366, but there were times when Ethan's like, the, cry, the tears are coming down, we can't, we, can't, we said every day. So that was, that was a challenge to get through. Um, and we were glad when, when we were done, but he, yes. he was pretty proud of it. But I'd say that was probably the biggest challenge. He's worked really hard for a kid his age, and he's done a good job, yeah. Did Ethan tell you his philosophy? No, he didn't. Your interview? Oh, he's gonna he get to do that, that in there. While going through leukemia, I began to develop a philosophy, which was you can always find good in the bad, um, but you just need to look for it, which basically means whenever you're going through something tough, you can always find something good out of it. And so far with leukemia, one of the main things has been with the program I've made and building a library at Chalk. Jesse Reese Foundation sent out joy jars to kids battling cancer, and on a third one, Ethan picked up the joy jar and said, what can I do? I want to do something to um, also provide something back, to give something back to kids. <laughs>